Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at a black, red and green or junt colored landfall combo deck. This was actually the best performing archetype in last weekend's Pro Tour. The only reason it didn't win is because the Pro Tour is a combined result of Limited and Constructed, so those players playing it may not have had the best results in Limited, but in Constructed this was the best archetype, at least in best of three, and this is very similar to the Teamer landfall ramp deck that you might have encountered already, exchanging blue for some black cards and those also include Pitiless Carnage, which is a 4-mana sorcery, although it can be plotted for 1 and double black, so we can cast it for free in a future turn, and then we sacrifice any number of permanents we control to draw that many cards. So the goal with Pitiless Carnage is to sacrifice all of our lands, so we now draw a lot of cards, and we can use Splendid Reclamation in that very same turn to get all of those lands back in play, plus maybe we had some of these new Capenna fetch lands already in the graveyard, or maybe we milled a few lands, so we get to return those as well, so we not only draw a lot of cards, but we also get to ramp in the process. And then in the very late game, if we've got everything set up with Nissa, Resurgent Animist on the battlefield, we now also make a mana for every land that enters the battlefield, so now we could actually start generating additional mana, and then we also have Spelunking, making it so lands enter the battlefield untapped, that also helps make additional mana if we cast our Splendid Reclamation, getting back all of those lands, since otherwise they would enter tapped. So with both Nissa and Spelunking, it's pretty easy to just make 20 plus mana, and then eventually we want to cast a World Souls Rage to take out the opponent. This can also be another way of getting a lands back out of our graveyard, so it kind of does double duty. And then a third way to return lands from the graveyard is with Aftermath Analyst, of course another very powerful combo alongside Nissa. So this one is 2 mana to play and then 4 mana to sacrifice, so pretty similar to Splendid Reclamation. Can also maybe mill a few additional lands into the graveyard when you cast it, and it's also an elf that you can find with Nissa if you can uh, trigger a landfall twice in one turn, which is also not too difficult with all these fetch lanes. The upside of Analyst over Reclamation is that it's a creature, so you can already play it and have it on the battlefield. So now if you sacrifice all your lands to a Pitiless Carnage, you don't have to worry about an opposing counter spell countering your Reclamation, otherwise you may not have any lands left on the battlefield, which is uh, not the goal. And then another reason to dip into black is for Pillage the Bog, another card with plot, and this one can be a very powerful tutor effect that scales with the number of lands we have on the battlefield, so you can also find your combo pieces like Pitiless Carnage and Splendid Reclamation to set up these powerful turns. And then we also have Gixis Command as a sweeper that can also maybe get creatures back from the graveyard, so we can get Nissa and Analyst back and uh, can also make the opponent maybe sacrifice a Shieldred, which is a good way of punishing a card like Pitiless Carnage, so it does double duty there as well. And then Shigeki, another creature we can return with Gixis Command, and in turn Shigeki can get back other cards from our graveyard, so we can start assembling these loops where we keep recurring cards over and over to generate all the mana we need to cast a lethal World Souls Rage, which is the eventual goal. Now of course this deck is a best of three deck, which also includes a sideboard. The drawback of this strategy over, let's say, the teamer build is that it's a bit weaker to aggro decks, since we don't really have any early interaction, so we might get run over by red aggro decks more often than not. But of course if you're playing this in best of three, you're not going to run into mono red aggro as often as you would on the best of one ladder. And then there's a sideboard which includes some spot removal spells as well, double go for the throat, double cut down, Path of Peril as a sweeper to deal with lots of cheap creatures, can shine against a Boros Convoke deck, Titania can also gain us more life with all the fetch lands getting returned over and over, and then Titan, an elemental you could find with Nyssa, so that can also be a nice uh, expensive card to try and resolve, and then uh, discard spells for the control matchups, and then uh, Terra Sunder can also hit various enchantments. So yeah, the sideboard does make the deck a little bit better against aggro, but I would still favor the aggro decks in this matchup. So that's what's probably keeping this from taking over the best of one meta game, but expect to see a lot of this in best of three going forward. But we will be testing this out in best of one just to get a wider range of matchups. So let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is not very good. We need more lands and green mana especially, although we do have Carnage to go with Reclamation, so that's kind of our combo, and then Nissan Spelunking, two more important cards. So we do kind of have all the pieces we need as long as we hit our land drops. Uh, I'll try it. No early interaction, but we don't have any, so best not to worry about it. And this might be the teamer version of the deck, in which case 
I don't hate my chances, since they have a bit more creature interaction, or more focused on comboing off. So yeah, team reverse junt, a landfall here. Our opponent off to a slower start. Don't want to expose Nissa to removal. So I could just play a Spelunking, or I can plot Carnage. If I plot Carnage now, next turn we could cast it and Reclamation back our lands, but we don't have a lot of fetch lands in the graveyard yet, so I don't feel like it's going to be incredibly useful yet. But a Spelunking is still pretty good here, helping us ramp. Starting to fill the graveyard. And I can get my red source. Alright, pillage. So we could cast it. Go Nissa, cast pillage. But I really don't want to expose Nissa to an ill timed explosion here, for instance. So instead, maybe just uh, plot some cards. Yeah, let's just plot Carnage. And pass for now. And then next turn, especially if we draw a land, we could go Nissa, play a land, cast Carnage, and then still have the mana for Reclamation, which is the ultimate goal. Opponent with Deluge to draw. And a Rage for three. Okay, opponent is tapped out. But they did get to a ramp quite nicely. So any land of the top will do. And we got it. Okay. Play Nissa. Play a land. Float a mana. And now Carnage sacking all my lands. With enough mana to cast Reclamation. Get all of those lands back. Untapped, as well as producing mana with Nissa. Okay, so what's next? We can pillage the bog, look for another carnage, and then reclamation again. I have one fetch land in the graveyard right now. I could also use analyst to mill more, but uh, yeah, let's pillage. And we did find carnage. So again, float all our mana. Could double tap Q to speed up that process a little bit. Just cast the Carnage. And then we can cast Aftermath Analyst to fill the graveyard some more before sacking it or using Reclamation. Doesn't really matter. Then the goal is just to get up to 26 mana, so if we're not there yet, we can keep going. So yeah, this highlights the advantage of the Jun build versus the Teamer build. We're a bit better set up to combo off in one turn. So we're out of basics in our deck. Alright, so double tap Q, float all our mana. And this should be enough to cast a lethal World Souls Rage for 26. Awesome. Sweet, on to the next one. 
Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand seems fine. Hope to not face aggro. Turn one swamp. So which land to fetch? Probably black mana with overlook. And then we're looking for pitiless carnage. So if I just cast pillage, we don't get to dig very deep. Might be better off with Shigeki, even though it's likely getting removed here. Still fine to flush out some removal. And then uh, next turn we could plot pillage if we don't want to play Nissa yet. Alright, cut down. Would have preferred to see go for the throat, which can also hit Nissa. So they might still have that in hand. And now a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. That's okay. It's not the most pressure and doesn't really disrupt us. So yeah, we can... Plot Pillage, probably playing the Swamp so we already have double black in play. And then wait on Nissa until we can get immediate value. And then the more fetch lands we get in the graveyard before casting Reclamation, the better. And as we said, just looking for Pitiless Carnage here. Right, Shieldred will start putting a clock on us and also punishes us for drawing with Pitiless Carnage. So that's an issue, although we at least get to play Nissa and then with a the fetch lands get another elf. And it's another Nissa. Alright, I think we hang on to pillage unless we want to cast it to try and find an aftermath analyst to cast right now. I think the longer we wait, the better. Involved sleepers next. Take seven. And another flesh forger. Yeah, Shieldred's gonna make it tough to actually combo off here, since Pitalus Carnage is just gonna end up losing too much life. So what can I do? Spelunking, fetch land, play another land, and see where we end up, basically. Sure. Find the analyst. Okay, so we've got us two going here. So we can play a land, make another mana with Nissa. Can cast a reclamation, which will get back three fetch lands, so it actually nuts us mana. And then keep going. And then now we'll have the mana to play analysts and get back those lands again. Finding a World Souls Rage to just answer Shield Root could also be good. Okay, so Analysts can immediately sacrifice it, even if they have another cut down in hand. Melder Gix's command, that could have been an answer. Do I want to pillage for anything? I think we just keep increasing our land counts to make it a more effective tutor effect. Although we should be able to find pretty much whatever we want now. So yeah, we're starting to run out of lands in library. Get as many swamps, because most of our fetch lands don't get black mana. They were out of forests. Okay, so time to pillage, and then... Is World Soul's Rage good enough? Could Gix's commands make them sack shield roots and then get back Analyst and Shigeki? That seems pretty good. 
So sack highest power, return up to two creatures. And then we can play and sack Analyst once again. And then now we can maybe cast Pitiless Carnage to win the game. And our opponent scoops it up. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. And uh, yeah, we've got a reasonable hand. We'll need to find a way to get back our lands from the graveyard. But yeah, I think I'll give this a try. Turn one scamp, not exactly what we want to see, an aggressive red deck. So I can maybe start by getting a black source with theater. Because we will need double black to set up Carnage. Next turn we could cast Pillage. To maybe look for a Splendid Reclamation. Monorad's one of our worst matchups, so if we can survive this somehow, I'll be pretty happy. Alright, untap land could help. So Splendid Reclamation or Aftermath Analyst are kind of the key cards we want to find here. Alright, I found a Reclamation, perfect. So next turn we can Plot Carnage, and then turn 4 we can both cast Carnage drawing 4 cards, as well as Reclamation getting all our lands back. Opponent with Case of the Crimson Pulse. Pretty good when empty-handed, of course. But luckily doesn't apply too much pressure right now. And then we are setting up Gix's Command as a board wipe eventually. Cell Sword, good combo with Scamp if they can increase its power. Alright, stick to the plan. Now I won't have the most fetch lands in the graveyard already, but that's okay. And there's the Monstrous Rage. Alright, so if they have a Cell Sword, we could just be dead here. Crescendo. So that's 13 damage coming our way, plus 7 more from this camp, so that's just game over. Alright. That's, uh, yeah, our worst matchup, so getting to see why we don't really interact until we get enough mana in play. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with an acceptable hand. Have Analyst and Nissa, And let's see here, when I get a green fetch in play. Turn two we could play Analyst, even though it's likely getting removed. Yeah, what's my sequencing? Turn 3, likely want to plot Pillage, and then turn 4 we can go Nissa plus a fetch land. So, Analyst in the meantime I guess is acceptable. Uh, and then keep Shigeki in hand. Or we could just cast Shigeki, although I'm not really planning to use it. So, yeah, play Analyst. And we milled one land. Opponent with Prologue, I see a poison deck. Don't see those very often. So they will have some counter spells to try and disrupt us. Case of the Ransacked Lab to set up. Alright, sadly can't really take this opportunity to do something busted, since casting Nissa doesn't really get me too far. But we can plot and attack for one. And then next turn hope to resolve Nissa. And then a fetch land. Drown takes out Analyst. And another pillage. So they could also remove Nissa in response to the fetch land trigger, so I don't get to find another elf. So if we suspect removal, I can just plot again and wait another turn. See what our opponent does. And then with all these plotted cards, we can maybe try to overload their counter spells in one turn. Right, opponent with an augury for one mana. Up to three poison, which can maybe enable corrupted for some of their cards, like curiosity to draw to. So they might be trying to solve the case. Which, if that results in them being tapped out, could be good for us. 
Their opponent does not quite solve the case, it seems. But we did find Pitiless Carnage, a good one to plot as well. So, yeah, maybe just uh, keep that going. Play another fetch land. Can get my mountain. And then next turn... Pillage the Bog is looking for a Splendid Reclamation or an Aftermath Analyst. So we can get all the lands back we sacrifice to the Carnage. And then Spelunking could also maybe help combo. Arcane Proxy getting back. Augury. Up to 5 poison. They must be sitting on some counter spells as well here. And yeah, if they have multiples, they can maybe cast them thanks to the discount. So that could be a problem. Gix's command. So let's assume we go Nissa, play a fetch land, our opponent takes it out in response to the trigger. What would be our follow up? Hope they don't have a counter spell left. And then pillage, look for Splendid Reclamation so we can Carnage Reclamation. And then we're in a decent spot. Yeah, that seems fine. They could also counter Nissan, but they don't. So do we see a removal here? We don't. Alright, so we get to find an elf. And Analyst is a good one. So... Can still pillage the bog, look for Splendid Reclamation. Which we did not quite get. In that case, do we want to get another Aftermath Analyst? Or another Carnage? Let's go with uh, Analyst. Can pillage the bog again. Finding Splendid Reclamation. Now, of course, if I sack all my lands to Carnage and they counter the Reclamation, we're in a bit of trouble. So it would be safer to just get an Analyst in play. But then we give our opponent an extra turn to maybe mess with our combo. If I cast Reclamation now, there's five lands getting returned, so it's still pretty good. So they might want to counter this to stop Nyssa from going off. Or bounce Nyssa. Okay, so that ends our turn, but... We're still in decent shape to maybe combo next turn. Especially if we find a Spelunking along the way. And we'll see if our opponent can apply for poison. Prologue is plus one. Alright, opponent must have some more removal in hand then. We did find the Spelunking, so we have 11 mana. Can play Analyst and sacrifice it at the very least, although that would be more effective with Spelunking in play. Don't have a ton of fetchable basics left either. Let's start with Spelunking. See if that resolves. Alright, so if I go Nissa, I'll be a little bit short of Analysts plus Sacrifice. So we'll start here. Okay. And then now I can sack all my lands to Carnage, and then I'll have Analysts to get them back at the very least. Okay, that resolves. Probably should have played land first, since we hadn't played one yet. So lands enter untapped. Out of forests. 
Okay, so now I could go for Nissa, perhaps. That resolves. Play my fetch land. That can get a swamp. That triggers. Play another analyst. And they're gonna take out Nissan response. That's acceptable. Although we're up to eight poison. Okay, play another Nissa. And our opponent scoops it up, fair enough. So if they're out of interaction here, play Nissa. Can uh, sacrifice Analyst to make quite a bit more than four mana with all our fetch lands triggering Nissa. So it kind of pays for itself and then some. And then we can try to build up our mana to cast a large World Souls Rage. And X equals 19 should be quite feasible here. Can uh, always play another Spelunking to put an extra fetch land in play and therefore in the graveyard. And then Shigeki can also loop back World Souls Rage, although we have three in hand already. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a decent hand. And we have Analyst into Nissa as an option. Opponent on some sort of blue-white control deck, I guess. We'll get a fetch land out there. Could get our one mountain. Since we cannot get a swamp. And a collector's vault, I see. So maybe more of a combo deck after all. Well, for now we'll play Analyst. We've got two Nissas, so if one gets answered, it's not a disaster. Collector's Vault activates. And we'll see if they're trying to reanimate something, just discarding a land for now. Okay, Analyst could attack. And then I'll go for Nissa. hope they don't have a board wipe. If they do, next turn play another Nissa, and with a fetch land we'll find another elf. Alright. And can make it overlook to get a swamp. And then I could still play a Shigeki. And then we already have quite a few lands in the graveyard to go with this planet reclamation. Gix's command, a way to get back our creatures as well. And an Oracle of Tragedy to draw and discard. Discarding one with a multiverse. So that's what they're trying to put back on the battlefield, I assume. Alright, so our opponent's mostly tapped out now, so let's see what we can do. Start with maybe Aftermath Analyst now, since we have the mana to sacrifice it. Might mill a few more lands into the graveyard. And we sure did. Alright, so we're going off. We are running low on swamps in a library, still have a few forests. Okay. And then I could go for Splendid Reclamation to make more mana. Gix's commands would be looking at Aftermath Analyst times two. So we can keep making mana, but we're not really drawing any specific cards. 
So that's kind of the problem here. Could also pick up Shigeki to channel it. If we happen to mill some important cards. So cast Reclamation. Make a bunch more mana. That's our last swamp. And our last forest. Alright, so we're out of basics. So next up we're looking at Shigeki to get back World Souls Rage among others. And then how many fetch lands do we have? Quite a few. Although not enough for Aftermath Analyst to necessarily net us mana if we play and activate it. So channel for three cost me eight mana. So let's do four. Getting back Rage, Reclamation, Reclamation, and Spelunking. Okay, and then I can cast Spelunking. Put another fetch land in the graveyard. And then now Reclamation will return lands untapped, although of course since we don't have any basics left, it doesn't matter too much, but it will matter once we actually sacrifice our basics. But that requires drawing into Pitiless Carnage, and the opponent has seen enough too many things happening all at once. But uh, yeah, either way we get to make a lot of mana to set up a Rage over the course of two turns, perhaps. But the goal here was to maybe mill a few more cards with Analyst, and then if we happen to mill the Pitiless Carnage, we can essentially get it back by using Gix's command to get back Shigeki, which in turn gets back Pitiless Carnage. Then we can sack all our basics, get them back untapped while making mana with Spelunking and Nissa, and then we might have the mana to cast a Lethal Rage. So it probably would have taken me a while to go through all these iterations, but uh, yeah, the deck's definitely going off. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a Keepable Hand. Somehow missing our fetch lanes to go with the Analyst and Reclamation. Although we might mill a few with that Analyst as well. Spelunking is a good turn 3 play. And it looks like they have cut down for Analyst. As long as we mill some lands it's fine since we still have Reclamation and Rage. And we did mill two lands at least. Not familiar with this card. Grows when they commit crimes. Okay. Did find a Nyssa. Although I don't really want to play it unless we can play a fetch line afterwards. And for Axen Arena. Okay, opponent's setting up for the late game, which is where we don't mind being in the first place. So we can play Nissa, play a fetch land, getting us an elf, and then the land enters untapped. So I can still cast Reclamation afterwards. And we found Analyst, perfect. So these are also untapped. So we can play Analyst and still sacrifice it. And then it's not going to be a lethal World Souls Rage. But it might still be worth casting while we have a bunch of floating mana.
So this would be x equals 6, 7, 8, and 9. And that's going to be it for me. Okay, so we are empty-handed, but we have a lot of mana, so if we top deck Pillage the Bog or Pitiless Carnage, we're off to the races. Another Vault Souls Rage would be lethal too. So all in all, not a bad turn. I don't imagine Nissan's gonna survive. Virtue takes it out. Opponent back up to 12, still dies to Rage. And there's Pillage, so for 2 mana can get pretty much whatever card we want. Now afterwards, let's see, 14, 15. So could cast Rage for 11 and then Arena would close out the game for us. Seems good enough. I guess they could activate the Hustler in response to the Arena trigger to survive. I guess I hadn't uh, thought of that. But yeah, we could go for Rage right now. Alternatively, I would look at maybe Gix's command to get back. Do we have a Shigeki here? We don't. Could just go for Shigeki, I guess, and that can get back multiple powerful cards out of the graveyard. Because if I Rage for 11, then they can activate Hustler in their upkeep to stay alive. And then we're top decking again. So to prevent that scenario... I think I just get Shigeki, and then I'll just pass a turn. Plan to channel its end of turn for quite a bit. Can get back Pillage and to Rage, and then next turn Rage for Lethal. Shield Roots, fine. So Pillage, Rage, Rage, doesn't matter too much at this point. And hit you for 11. Sweet. Alright, so we get to see this Jund combo deck in action, and it's quite impressive whenever it gets to do its thing. Now it does have one glaring weakness, and it's magnified in best of one, and that is aggro decks. Any mono red aggro or red white convoke is going to be able to present lethal before we get to combo off usually, so those matchups are very rough, and those decks are also quite popular in the best of one ladder. Now luckily in best of three, those decks are a little bit less pronounced, so this deck seems better suited to the best of three meta, but then again, you will have to account for graveyard hates and other interaction after sideboard, so you will have to adapt the deck by bringing in some enchantment removal for cards like Rest in Peace, and uh, perhaps other answers as well. So yeah, overall definitely deserves its title of one of the better decks in standard, at least in traditional standard at the moment, but I don't think it's going to take over the best of one ladder just because of that weakness to aggro decks, and even though you could improve the aggro matchup by bringing in some spot removal or sweepers, it doesn't really really benefit the overall game plan too much and it's still going to be kind of a coin toss whether or not you end up drawing those interactive cards. So I don't think the aggro matchup is all that easy to fix, at least not by changing the main deck, so for the most part you're just hoping to dodge aggro matchups. But uh, yeah, if you do, the deck seems pretty well positioned, so that'll do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!